It's really not gonna be until like I'm lying on my deathbed looking back at the, the, the grand scope of things and everything I've done where I can sit back and say, okay, that was good. Uh, my name is Anna Fox Ryan and I'm an oil painter. My work is generally conceptual and if I start to paint, I'll do still lifes occasionally or do more realism or figure work, sort of rehearsing how I'm going to say something and paint and then I might take that into um, another piece that has a stronger concept behind it. And those, what I call my conceptual work, they mix abstraction and realism so there is a sense of place and there's um, almost always a message behind it. Sometimes I work with models, sometimes I'm painting from my memory, sometimes I just start putting marks down because I feel like I need to put some paint down and then it goes somewhere. I never really know what models are gonna are gonna bring and but I know them as more than just this shape of a nose or that shape of an eye or this, their skin tone and how am I gonna mix that color. I know who they are. There's there's sort of been an evolution of my concept. I'm focused on energy and I've always had a fascination with it. Um, when I was younger I would draw these, I would draw a little figure and then I would draw the circles sort of stacked up through their torso and I didn't really know what it was that I was drawing but I eventually learned that it was the chakra vortexes, like the energy centers in our bodies. Um, and so that's what I'm working on these days. It, I call it illuminated portraiture. She had a really beautiful, calm, like, energy to her, and I felt um, that we shared sort of um, spiritual interests. So I had that time to consider her, consider the energy that I perceived around her and what that was going to mean for the image. I had, I had always seen this sort of dark blue light coming down vertically, and then there was this really warm amber um, shape around her. But I was only interacting with her at work, so that was that was her energy at work. And when I saw her here, it was a little different. Um, she was calmer and more playful, and so things changed. That's what I'm doing now. I'm looking at energy as sort of the vital presence that is our being, existence, our soul. And before that, I, the first stage of my work, I was looking at energy just sort of plainly, as energy as electricity, what fuels our homes and our economy. Um, it's electricity, and so that allowed me to get into paint, learn how to paint simple forms because it was just a lot of smokestacks and power poles. Um, but I could still make a, a pretty strong and bold commentary on what was happening with the environment and the energy crisis. Yes, I feel I feel fulfilled in what I'm doing now as an artist, and I feel like um, you know every week, every month, every year, I'm closer to being the artist that I want to be, but I understand that I'm always going to be evolving. So I started to do, um, I looked at power and energy as these power struggles and relationships, and I was looking at how energy is ex exchanged, whether it's, you know, positive or negative development, growth, and so I did this power series of charcoal drawings, um, and it was just about relationships and how energy is exchanged, but instead of using people, I just used the industrial structures that I was working with all along, but I used charcoal sort of more as um, bursts of the powder instead of using clean lines. I wasn't terribly articulate with it, just in small sections it was clear what um, what the power structures were and then it was just sort of a spitfire of charcoal powder as they um, engaged with one another. There's the aura that I want to have and there, there's the person that I want to be because I'm always working on things and then there's what actually exists and <laughs> and you know, sometimes you don't want to look in the mirror, and sometimes you don't want to um, acknowledge the grayness that's there. 
So I think when it comes to my portraits, um, I'm really painting who I want to be in a year or in five years or in ten years. And it's like setting a goal and part of working towards that goal is making it clear and making it physical. Even if it's just in paint, I can eventually make it make it real and physical in myself. Every time I approach a painting, I'm always challenged to to make it as authentic as possible. I want the experience, the message, the paint to be genuine, and I don't want anything to be contrived. So, um, it just takes a very sort of brute honesty with myself. Sometimes I have to check in and say, you know what, there's, I'm trying too hard with this one. And so this morning even, I took maybe 12 paintings outside and I sanded them down and I'm gonna start over and just paint something new on top. And what I'm painting today of Livia is something that I had sanded down to be genuine, especially in a world full of a lot of bullshit. <laughs> I just want to be honest. And I do try and, I, I try to paint positive people and positive ideas and positive things because I believe that what you put your thoughts into and your actions into and words into, you, you manifest that. There's no way of really predicting where I'm gonna go. I mean, yes, I want to to show in museums. I want to have galleries and because and because that's what I want to do. I have I just want to to share the work with with the world and with people. I like to leave things sort of open-ended uh, in the way, in, in the message that I'm giving or the questions that I'm asking and in the way that I paint. So I paint through the form a lot. Um, I'll, I'll let things be concrete and then I'll completely abstract them. And I want the viewer to fill in the gaps. So whoever's enjoying my paint, hopefully they're enjoying my painting. Whoever's viewing my painting, um, is hopefully asking themselves questions as they're moving through it, finishing my thought visually, but also finishing my thought and their thought as far as what the subject is.